Hi everyone, welcome to today's lesson. Today, we are going to use the cardinal points to describe the position of objects. We are going to use the cardinal points to describe the position of objects. Okay, now, a compass is an instrument used to show direction. A compass is an instrument used to show direction. With me here is a picture of a compass. As you can see, this is a compass. You have north represented by N, south represented by S, east represented by E, and then west represented by W. Okay, so the compass shows four main directions. As you can see, these are the four main directions. North, south, east, and west. These are the four main directions shown by a compass. Now, these four main directions are what we call the cardinal points. These four main directions are what we call the cardinal points, and I have represented them here. You can see north, south, east, and west. Okay, so we are going to use these cardinal points to describe the position of these objects. Object T, object P, object A, and then object B. We are going to use the cardinal points to describe their positions. First, let's describe the position of object T. Okay, now we are going to stand here at B and then here at P to describe the point T. Now when you stand at B, you can see that the point T is to the north of B. The point T is to the north of B. So you say point T, point T is to the north of B. Very good. Now, we are going to describe the same point T standing at P. When you are standing at P, you see that T is to the east. So you say the point T is to the east of point P. So you say T is to the east of P. Great. Now let's go on. Let's describe the point P. Let's describe this point P. We will stand here and here to describe the point P. Now, when you are standing here, you see that the point P is to the west of T. The point P is to the west of T. So you say point P is to the west of T. Okay. Now, when you stand at A, you will see that the point P is to the north of A. It is to the north of A. So you say the point P is to the north of point A. Again, let's describe point A. We are going to stand at P and then B to describe point A. Okay. No. Now, when you are standing at P, when you are standing at P, you see that the point A is to the south of point P. This point A is to the south of point P. And then when you are standing here at B, you will see that the point A is to the west of point B. Thanks for watching me. Subscribe to my channel.